today we're going to talk about order of operations, what they are, when to use them. First, when. Well, you use order of operations when you have to evaluate numerical expressions. And you may be wondering, what's a numerical expression? A numerical expression is a mathematical statement that includes only numbers and operational symbols. So a simple example would be 3 plus 4. We have our numbers and our operation. However, remember that you do not always have to have just one operation and two numbers. You could have three, four, five. The possibilities are endless how many numbers and operations will be in one numerical expression. Now, how to use order of operations. There are four steps that we like to follow. First, you will perform the operations that are inside the parentheses. So if you look at this numerical expression, we have a set of parentheses, and inside you will see 1 plus 3. We will write the solution inside the parentheses, and then we will copy the rest of this problem. Which leads us to step number two, find the values of the numbers with exponents. We've talked about exponents, and if you look inside this numerical expression, we have an exponent, 5 squared or 5 to the second power. Remember, exponents tell you how many times to multiply the base. Therefore, 5 squared turns out to be 25, and we'll copy the rest of this numerical expression. which leads us to step three, multiply or divide, whichever one comes first in the numerical expression, from left to right. So when you read this numerical expression, you will see that division comes before the multiplication. And since division comes first, this will be the operation we do first, causing me to copy the rest of this numerical expression we still have some multiplication left, so we'll follow up with 2 times 25. Copy the rest of the numerical expression. Which leads you to step 4, add or subtract whichever one comes first from left to right. In this example, we only have one operation left, and that is subtraction to give us a solution of 48. Now, there is a shortcut to remembering the order of operations. Basically, the order of operations says parentheses first, exponents second, multiplication or division, whichever one comes first from left to right, addition or subtraction, again, whichever one comes first. We have a saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, to help us remember that order. P for parentheses, E for exponents, M for my, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Here is another example using order of operations on a numerical expression. The expression says 72 divided by 9 minus 2 times 4. Division and multiplication is what we have first, but remember, would you do whichever one between the two comes first in the expression. In this case, it's division, which will give us a solution of 8. Copy the rest of the problem. We still have that multiplication left to deal with. 2 times 4 is 8. Copy the rest of the problem, and you're left with 8 minus 8. 0 will be your solution. <laughs>